Hi again. Let's continue with our with our to do class here. And uh, in the last video, we we worked on the to do store, and I'm going to continue with it right now. So our to do store, you know, is going to provide to dos to the rest of the program. So it needs to have methods that let you do, you know, let the, let let the rest of the program access the to do items, right? So so far, you know, the to do store provides an array to store to dos. It can supply the count of to-dos to tell something, you know, how many to-dos there are. For example, the table view could make use of that. And if you wanted to access a to-do, then you can call get, and then you can provide the index of the to-do, and it'll give you the to-do at that index, okay? So the other thing it needs to do is it probably needs to add new to-dos, okay? So I'm going to say add to-do, and I'll make a function to add a to-do. So this add to-do you're going to supply the name and the note value for the to-do. Okay, so we'll supply those two things. And then we're going to create a new to-do. Okay, so the new to-do is going to look something like this. We're going to say, you know, to-do equals to-do item. And we don't have the initializer like we had before, so we'll make a new to-do. And then we'll say to do dot name, you know, equals name, and to do dot note equals note. Okay, now there's one other thing here, right? <clears throat> we probably also need to save it to um, to to the to the database, right? So, in order to do that, we need to do a couple steps here, okay? And so in order to, to write stuff to the database with Realm, we essentially need to get an instance of Realm, begin a write transaction, make any changes to Realm objects, that's essentially modifying the database, and then last, commit the write transaction, okay? So it's not that complicated, um, it's just a few lines of code. So what we're going to do is we're going to say let Realm equal... Um, RLM realm dot default realm, and then we're going to say realm dot begin write transaction. Okay, so here we've gotten an instance of the default realm, and then here we're going to begin a write transaction, and then this stuff here, like where we create a new to-do item and set properties on that to-do item. Since the to-do item is an RLM object, we're we have to do that inside this write transaction. So we'll begin the write transaction here. We'll modify our to-do items, and then we'll close the write transaction at the bottom. Okay, I'm going to add another step in here too, and we're going to say realm dot add object and then we're going to add the to-do object, right? And that'll add it to the database because we created a new one here, okay? And then our, as our last step, we'll say realm dot commit write transaction, okay? So essentially we're going to get a reference to realm, begin a write transaction, you know, modify any RLM objects or realm objects, you know, change them, edit their properties, whatever, and then commit the right transaction, and then Realm will save that those changes to the database, okay? And there you go. So that'll, you know, this right here would add a new to-do item. Let's, uh, what if we wanted to remove a to-do item, right? Because we got that feature in our table view that removes them, so why don't we make a function for that? So we'll follow the same procedure. I'm going to say remove and then I'll put it to do here. And our to do items are, you know, uh, to do type. And so we have our function here. And then how are we going to do it? Well, we're going to do the same thing we did before. We'll say let realm equal RLM realm dot default realm. And then we'll say realm dot begin write transaction. And then we'll put our changes in here. And then at the end, we'll say realm.commit write transaction. Okay? 
So, you know, how are we going to delete a to-do item? Well, let's say uh, realm dot delete. Uh, which one do we want here? Delete object. Okay. And then we're passing the to-do that we want to delete here to remove. So we'll put it right there and then, you know, that'll be the object that we want to remove. There you go. Okay. So there's add a to-do and remove a to-do. And now it, our app isn't going to work yet, right? We're going to have to also incorporate this a little more into view controller and add to-do, but this is getting our, our to-do store worked out. Okay.